look at all the money we saved by not going on dates. And, uh, yeah. Hello, wow, look at all, there is a lot of bald guys here. What? What is, are we having a meeting or something? What's going? Awesome, what's up, bald brother? Yes. Oh, I love being bald, don't you? Oh my, look at all the money we saved by not going on dates. And, uh, yeah. We could, look at them, oh, this is crazy. Are we having a meeting? I feel like we should be, like we could start our own band. We got enough of us right here. Call ourselves the Four Tops or something, that'd be awesome. I see you're keeping the side though, yeah, okay. <laughs> Keeping it. You can let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Awesome. Look at all the cute girls, too. Oh, it's weird. I'm getting older, and it's weirder things get me excited about women. Right? You're getting older. You know what I'm talking about. Like, look at them. There's a lot of good ones right here. Yes. Yes. Yummy. Yes. What? Girls in glasses drive me and I just see them and I'm like, oh boy, she's got bad eyesight. Yes. Oh. When those come off, I am going to look so good. I, uh, <laughs> I look really good blurry. So, <laughs> love girls with disabilities. So hot. So hot. Oh, you got a guy with glasses. That's adorable. Do women feel the same way about guys with glasses? It's not the same, is it? I know. It's probably like, oh my boy, he's going to fix my computer! Like, you're just... <laughs> oh, man. I, uh... I, this is gonna be... This is gonna be fun. So, um, I'm kind of a party guy. I feel like this is a party crowd for the... Yes! Uh, that's what I... I'm the kind of guy, if you're having a party and you invite me, I'll come. I don't care what kind of party it is. Ladies, a Pinterest party? Ugh. I'll bring the crafts, right? Just... <laughs> Tupperware party? Let's blow the lid off this place! <laughs> you ever been to a crappy party, though? We all have. If you have it, you need to get out more. I'll tell you that. I went to the worst one I've ever been to in my life. It was a, um, uh, a search party. <laughs> Everybody was crying. <laughs> Ugh, couldn't find this one guy. <laughs> right? I start crying because it's BYOB. I'm like, this, this party sucks, man. Who invited the cops? This is a weird party. I didn't know we could bring our dogs. Not everybody's laughing over here. I feel like, I feel like you guys are missing someone or something. It was like, we can't find Todd. <laughs> like, what are you doing at Dry Bar? Go home and look for him, you jerks. Jesus. <laughs> mm. Never been married, no kids. And uh, I'm an uncle, though. That's awesome. Any answer uncles out there tonight? Answer uncles. Isn't it awesome when they're not your kids? Oh, because my sister was so mean to me, and I used my nephew against her, right? Like, I'll pick him up, take him to a fair, feed him cotton candy. Like, like he's pooping sugar cubes by the end of the night, right? <laughs> And then we get back to my place, he's like, I want to jump off the fridge. And I'm like, you can do it. And now I'm 4 a.m. rolls around. I'm like, Brady, you got to go home, buddy. But before you do, here's a four foot long pixie stick. There you go. There you go. Wash it down with this. It's called five hour energy drink. 
Oh, my nephew too. He's at this age where he's just a little bright. He's 10 years old. And I don't know what is up with. Has anybody got kids 10 and under out there? Little ones? Yeah. You guys do? How old are your kids, darling? I have 15 and 14. 15 and 14. And 13. And nine. And nine. <laughs> I don't, I don't think you heard the question. <laughs> the alligator eats the bigger number. <laughs> I was looking for equal to or less than. <laughs> for a moment, I thought you were giving me the lotto number, sis. There was a lot. Well, thanks for taking a break to come out tonight. Wow, yes. You guys got a lot of kids. Nine-year-old boy or girl? Just a little brat at that age, right? You ever make the mistake and tell them they can have something but don't give it to them right away? They don't shut up, right? My sister slipped and told my nephew that he could have a pet, but didn't let him pick one out right away. And he wants a cat. And I'm like, oh, he's gay. No offense. But I was just like, no. I couldn't tell if you two were together or not, but I just, I, just, I don't want to offend anybody. It doesn't bother me. I wouldn't even care if he was. It's not about that. It's about, I'm his uncle. I want to get him a dog, but he wants a cat because grandma's got a cat and he's grandma's little boy. So I told my sister, go get him a cat, right? But I don't even know where you get a cat. Like Salvation Arm? I don't know where you get a cat. Just go, go out on the road and grab one. They're everywhere, right? <laughs> There's a box, pick one up. There's probably 12 a minute. Just take one home. Nobody cares. If you're at somebody's house, take theirs. They're probably sick of it by now. Wow, I feel like this crowd cares about cats. This, this side's laughing, but not so much over here. I bet, I bet someone has paid for a cat in this area. He has? I can feel it. I knew it. How do not you? What, how much did you pay for the cat? 80 bucks. $80? <laughs> Look at all the other dudes. What? <laughs> What's the matter? Santa Claus bought him. Okay. So you're still believing in that stuff. Okay. $80? You couldn't talk him down to nothing? <laughs> That's what you do next time. Just walk in and go, how much is this one? And they're like, 80 bucks. You're like, I don't want it. <laughs> Start to walk away and they'll be like, you can just have it then. Just have it. <laughs> we thought you might be dumb and try to pay 80 bucks. But... <laughs> is it a fancy cat? <laughs> no, just piece of crap cat. Yep. <laughs> $80 is a weird amount, too. Like, like I could see like 100 or 75, but eight? Would you have a group on or something? They just. Yeah. Oh. That's not even that much. Some of the, some people pay a lot of money for fancy. Has anybody got a fancy one out there? Fancy cat? Yeah, right here. Little woman right here. What, how much, what kind of cat you got? You're, yeah, blame it on your daughter now. <laughs> My daughter has one, but she lives with me, and I bought it. <laughs> Sleeps with me. <laughs> but I let her name it. That's, how, that's hers. It's hers. What kind of cat is your cat, darling? It's a Savannah cat. Savannah? Mm, nope, that's not a cat. <laughs> Did you have to go to the Savannah to get it or something? Is, where, what kind of cat is a Savannah cat? I've never heard of that. It's like a fourth generation. Fourth generation, sure. Yeah. Yeah. So you went into town and got his genealogy? A lot of people don't know it's related to the Sphinx, so...
So we're just letting anybody into these tapings now? Is that what we're doing? Just... You're adorable. Thanks for coming out, darling. How much you pay for that, Savannah Cat? Okay, how much your daughter pay for this? Wow, you guys have, okay. I have some DVDs for sale after this show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're normally 20, but for you, 5,000. <laughs> it's like a down payment on a house for some people. They're like, no, my daughter wanted it. She, she's a good girl, so. Wow, that's crazy. My, uh, my sister, my, I was at a, I was doing a cruise ship once, and I actually, uh, somebody was dumber than you. She, she, um, she spent sixty five hundred on a cat, and I said, "What kind of cat was it?" She said, "It was a, a um, Bengal." I was like, uh, "I think you bought a tiger." <laughs> it sounds like you got a good deal, if you ask me. What'd you get it from some guy named Roy? My chance. <laughs> He's like, this one's a little aggressive. <laughs> it's more of an outside cat. <laughs> right, Siegfried? Yeah, you don't want to cuddle with this one. It'll rip your face off. <laughs> oh. My sister's not as dumb as you. She spent uh, $300 on a cat for my nephew. And I thought she'd get him like a kitten to grow up with, right? Nope, she got him an 18-year-old cat. And it was 300 bucks because it had wheels for back legs. My nephew picked it out. He thought it was like a transformer, right? He just, just grabbed it and pulled it back thinking it was gonna shoot forward. And... with a death certificate like, <laughs> so old gets up every morning to watch the price is right <laughs> I love being an uncle man I love it but my nephew he loves he's little he's in kindergarten he loves going to the park now I don't know if you guys have ever been to like a, a like a new playground before they suck <laughs> There is no danger at playgrounds anymore. None, except for an occasional dude in a white van. Big deal, really. <laughs> Who doesn't like candy, right? Like, <laughs> I used to run up to that guy, you got any candy today? <laughs> He'd be like, get out of here, fat so I'm looking at the skinny kids. <laughs> Like, I see Jolly Ranchers in the bag. I just, just want a red one. If I, hey, what's going on? What are you doing? <laughs> I think they make the rides too safe for the kids. That's what it is, right? Like, boys, we need to get hurt. Or we're just going to keep doing dumber and dumber things. <laughs> like, they're monkey bars. Monkey bars. Five feet off the ground now. That's it. If they fall, they land in this corkboard, spongy, recycles. They don't even got to climb them. They just walk with them. <laughs> I told my nephew, I was like, dude, when I was your age, those things were like 10 feet off the ground. If they'd be so rusted, you'd need a tetanus shot before you go up on them. There'd be holes where there was like bird's nest and there'd be a hornet's nest at the other end. And, and if you fell, what'd you land in? You had, you had asphalt? Oh my God. How, how, your school must have hated you guys. Did you just have an extra parking lot? They're like, put it up, put them up. <laughs> we don't care if they get hurt. <laughs> we had gravel, which I thought was bad, or broken glass, or <laughs> cigarette butts from the teachers. <laughs> get up, you little wussy, you know? <laughs> They got rental rides, too. If you go to a brand new park, you'll never see these ever again. And I'm looking at the second row, and I bet these kids probably never. How old are you, darling, right here? You're 11 years old? Oh, you probably don't even know what a merry-go-round is. <laughs> they got 
got rid of them. And I, was, I was like, oh, how are we going to figure out which kids are going to grow up to be alcoholics then, right? <laughs> the same feeling. You, you get on it, hope some big kid's around to get it spinning so fast that you fly off and hit your neck on a horseshoe pit steak and <laughs> stand up, throw up all over yourself. <laughs> this is the best ride ever. <laughs> now I was a little chubby kid, so they always made me sit in the center, right? Or else it'd be like an off-balance wash load going around. Just... <laughs> They got rid of the seesaw, which I don't care. I, I never got to see anything. <laughs> I don't know why you're not coming down. <laughs> just, <laughs> just catapult the kid the other way. They got rid of this ride, too, and I know you'll never know what I'm even talking about. And it was huge when we were kids. I don't know what they called it, but it was always like a cartoon character or a horse, and you'd get up on its back, and then it'd have this, like, industrial strength spring coming out. It. So you did this when you were riding there, just... <laughs> right? But I was a chubby kid, so I just did this and be like... <laughs> My back's touching the ground. <laughs> I just let go and the thing would shoot forward and take my nuggets with it. <laughs> my chicken nuggets. <laughs> now their slides are made out of plastic. When we were little, they were made out of that hot molten lava metal. Been baking out in the sun all morning. <laughs> Hey, let the kids out to play. Like, no. You go down this thing, you got shards of butt flap hanging off of you. Just looks like a CSI crime scene. Right? They still make this slide. You got this slide, darling? A little twirly one. That one's fun. Yeah, if you're skinny, that's a good time. <laughs> but if you're a chubster, you can get some speed going on those skates. And they don't make them with like high banks or railings or anything to hold on to. So you got like half of a butt cheek hanging off the whole right. Thinking you're about to fly out of this thing any moment. And then whoever designs this, like that guy's a jerk, man. Cause they start out wide and comfy, but when you get to the bottom, they just narrow into these tight little crevices. It's like a fat kid cow catcher right at the end. Just... Kids up top, they can't see us. So they're coming down, kicking you in the bag. You, you got scoliosis before you get off of this thing. And the kids were mean to me because I was a chubby kid. So they'd be whipping those red dodgeballs at me. They see I'm stuck. I'm eating a sandwich. It's like... <laughs> I love sandwiches. It's, it's my favorite, right? If you're single and you make me a sandwich, I'll be yours forever. I love them. Does anybody else love sandwiches? I'm not the only one, right? Yes, yes. Oh, I love when girls say, what's your favorite? Number one, favorite sandwich? Chicken salad. Ch chicken salad. Okay, that's a little gross, but yeah. Yeah, that's not even a top five for me. What did you clap to, bro? What's your, what's your favorite? BLT. BLT, nah, that might make top five. Nice job, nice. What's the matter? Cheese, oh, that's a big dude too, holy cow. All right, whatever you say, we're not gonna fight you on this. <laughs> Sound like he had some in his mouth while he said it. <laughs> Those are good ones. I like that one too, buddy. I know it. I love, I love it, man. My favorite are um, ice cream sandwiches. <laughs> I feel bad for some people. Some people can't eat certain things. They got a food allergy. That's, that's got to be horrible. I can't imagine that. I can eat whatever I want, and I usually try to. But I just, 
Huh? Does anybody out there have a food allergy? I don't want to make you feel bad, but I know it sucks. You do, cutie, right here. What are you allergic to? Lactose intolerant. Okay, so you're getting a little specific with me. <laughs> well, it's not an allergy. <laughs> Just not very tolerant of it. <laughs> <laughs> and if, ain't my, if it ain't my nephew, I'm a little kid intolerant, so I, uh, I get it. I get it. That's tough. That's one of the worst ones ever. I'm going to come back to you. Let's see. Anybody else? I don't want to leave anybody else out if there is one other person. Nobody? Oh, that's, that's horrible. I, uh, I think that's the, you have the worst one, if you ask me. Because there's, what, you, somebody over here has one? Do you agree? What is yours? Gluten? So somebody just, like, taking their butt, coming at you. And like, no. I'm allergic. <laughs> That's a dumb one. That ain't real. So. <laughs> Nobody had that when we were kids, right? If a kid came in and said he had a gluten allergy, we'd put that kid down. Something was wrong. Something was wrong with that kid. Right? You're a Mormon. You just make more. So it's just... <laughs> I don't know. I think she has the worst one. Yours is bad, but you, you can't eat, like, ice cream, right? I love ice cream. What happens when you eat it? <laughs> bad things. What, you just bust open the bathroom door with a knife? Somebody gave me ice cream. Get out of here. Family of four was murdered by a lady lactose intolerant. <laughs> Do you mean you just have bad, like, like everybody needs a 30-foot radius or something? Just, I feel bad for you. I don't care. I, I, if I had it, I'd, I'd still eat it. <laughs> I'd just be calling 911. What's your emergency? <laughs> Rob, is that you? <laughs> Cookie dough. <laughs> Mm, I hate all this stuff. I hate that we got to change things. I don't like being politically correct. I hate all that. I don't know if any of you guys feel the same way, but I just feel politically correctness has gone a little too far for me. I just, right? Okay. Oh, thank you. I can prove it. I can prove it. Do we have any teachers out there tonight? Any teachers? Oh, you're a teacher too, the lactose girl. No. Oh. So the kids are all like, where's Mrs. Smith? <laughs> Been in the bathroom all day. Watch out when she comes out, bad things happen. <laughs> what grade do you teach? Um, eighth and seventh. Eighth and seventh. We go backwards from you? Okay. <laughs> okay. So just whoever shows up that day or something? <laughs> I'm in seventh grade. Well, I'm teaching eighth grade math today. You better catch up. There was a couple teachers over here too. What, what grades? What grades? Third grade. Third grade? I'm the facilitator. Okay, so you're, you didn't hear the question. your hand so you did the right thing you did the right thing but i was looking for real teachers <laughs> third grade you might be able to back me up on this and anybody that's got little kids you might have heard this this blew my mind when my nephew came home and told me this did you know little kids can still sit this way but you cannot call it indian style anymore right now it's crisscross applesauce <laughs> whatever that's supposed to it sounds delicious <laughs> Huh? Sounds like a cobbler or something. Like, we go to grandma's, there better be some crisscross applesauce waiting for me. Do they say that at your school? Absolutely. What do they tell them to do with their hands? There's always something with their hands. Yes. Sit on your 
Sit on them. Just sit on your hands. You guys don't even care? It's usually hands in your lap because they're basic. But yours works too. It's basically they say that so you don't smack a kid. That's what they're doing, right? But some teachers get very creative with this. Obviously, your school's not that creative, but some, <laughs> some schools... I've been all over the world. The best one I've ever heard was in Oklahoma. They say, uh, they got a poem. They'd go crisscross applesauce, pockets on the floor, hands in your lap, and talk no more. I was like, oh, that's adorable. But some states are stupid. Like, uh, Missouri's got the grossest. They say crisscross applesauce, hands in the chocolate sauce. <laughs> Dude, if there is chocolate sauce. <laughs> pretty sure that kid had an accident. <laughs> Texas is the most aggressive. They say crisscross applesauce, catch a bubble in your mouth. And I was like, what does that mean? And it was a first grade male teacher, and he goes, it means shut up. I was like. <laughs> and he said it in front of the kids, which that blew my mind, and they're all like, yeah, he say shut up. <laughs> hee haw, hee haw, or whatever. They, I don't know what they say, but. I don't know. <laughs> hmm. Ohio is the dumbest. They, they, have a, they have a poem, but there's something obviously wrong with it. And you guys, will, I'm sure you'll catch on right away. They go, uh, crisscross applesauce, pepperoni pizza. Put your hands in your lap and listen to your teacher. <laughs> uh, I don't think that rhymes, Ohio. Pizza, teacher. Where'd you get your rhyming dictionary from? Dora, Explorer. <laughs> I don't think Native American Indians care that we say Indian style, right? They, they probably just call it style. It's probably nothing to them, right? <laughs> Is there anybody out there that has some real Native American Indian in them? That'd be awesome if there was. Yeah, raise your hand if you do. Because we have like Cherokee in my family. One over here, do you guys, bro? Oh, she raised, she pointed at you, and then she, oh, she doesn't know that you're not Indian? <laughs> <laughs> this is the gluten lady, by the way. <laughs> what, what makes you think he's Indian? Is, is this goatee or something? Or because anybody can grow those. You don't have to be Indian. <laughs> Although I am Cherokee. We have a little Cherokee in our family. Is there anybody else? I feel like I'm not the only one, right? You do too, darling? What, what brand are you? Or not brand. Um, <laughs> tribe. 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 Cherokee. That's a good one. Hi. Uh, or how? Oh, that's a good one. Do you know your percentage? A little bit. A little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Let me go to the teachers on this. <laughs> Somebody goes, hey, what's uh, 33 minus four, but do the percent. And they're like, a little bit. <laughs> oh, it's, it's partial credit, partial credit. <laughs> Why do you think you're Cherokee if you don't know your percentage? Just grandma said, hey, if anybody asks, <laughs> just tell them you're Cherokee. <laughs> Well, good luck scalping me. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> You're Indian, too. You raise your hand, bro. What kind? Another Cherokee. Do you know your percentage? No, Grandma told me. Grandma told you, too? <laughs> that's awesome. Do either of you got siblings? Because that's the best part, right? Do you have... Wait a minute. Do you have kids? Yes. Awesome. Is this one of them right here? Ah, that Dan runs with no blind sight or something? I don't, she has glasses. That's adorable. How many kids do you have? Just her? You have three! So you got one little, two little, three little. Oh. You have the first verse! Look at second row, they have no idea what I'm talking about right now. That makes me sad. You know what we should do? We should sing it. Yeah. Do you really? Oh, I 
can't believe we're going to do it. Yes. Okay, Indians, this is your song, so get ready. All right. If there's any black people in here, we're singing. So, all right, here we go. On my beat, get ready. You're going to do it, right? Grandmas, I'm looking at you. You're probably there when the song was made. So let's... Okay. Here we go. Watch this. You're about to blow your minds. Ready? Ooh. Were you three just like, how do they know that? <laughs> <laughs> Did you catch on by the second verse, though? Yeah. <laughs> I see where they're going with this. <laughs> <laughs> they don't teach it anymore, which is horrible. They say it's racist. They don't say racist, but they come out and basically say it's racist. But they don't, right? And it's not your fault that you guys don't know it. It's the teacher's fault. <laughs> I would be upset if I were your Cherokees because you only got one famous Indian. And he's part of a group that doesn't cover it. They just sing YMCA all day. It's... <laughs> How did you three learn to count if you didn't know that song? That's like your fingers. Yeah, your fingers. But you lose a finger, right? You're down to nine. You're like, what's after that? We could do that blindfolded. That's how good we are with it. But they don't teach it because they say it's an inappropriate or racist or whatever. But I don't, I think it's just a counting song, right? Cherokees, right? It's your song, right? It's a counting song. It can't literally be anything. It can be like one little, two little, three little white kids, four little, five little, six little black kids, seven little, eight little, nine little Mexicans, a little bit of percent Cherokee. <laughs> Local man robs Wendy's with alligator. We're the alligator boys now. And the lady be sitting in the bank, she be going, Mom, Mom, 